It's the 19th day of October 2007. Nice people outside enjoying balmy weather here on the plaza in New York City. We're going to get outside and say hi to them in a second. Meanwhile, we're playing them some great music. They're enjoying a classic Aerosmith tune, and there's a reason we're playing it. I'm Matt Lauer, along with Meredith Vieira. And coming up in this half hour, Steven Tyler, like you've never seen him before. This is a guy who's belted out thousands of songs like Dream On over and over again. But what do you think all the singing has done to his vocal cords? We're going to take an up-close look. Whoa. Just one example. Look at that. That's wild. There Apparently, he is. According to some estimates, <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, his vocal cords have banged together a billion times Jeez. over his career. It's all part of the great human machine, a great National Geographic special. We're going to find out why Stephen wanted to be a part of that in just a it's little sort of while. Sort of brave of him to do that. <laughs> yeah, well, he cameras had... and stuff down his throat. <laughs> He's chewing gum. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. Also, we have an important... And Thank now you. here's Matt. All right, Meredith, thanks very much. Now to the human body like you've probably never seen it before with stunning high-definition footage, radical scientific advances, and powerful first-hand accounts, a new National Geographic special plunges deep into the marvels of the human body and explores striking feats of medical advancement, including real-time measurements of Aerosmith lead singer Steven Tyler's vocal cords after recovering from laser surgery. Steven is here this morning with his surgeon, Dr. Steven Zytels. Guys, good morning to both of you. Good to see you. Morning, How'd you get involved in this? Well, I was going through, I was on tour for about six months, and I had this schmutz in my lungs, and I couldn't figure out what it was. And I wound up in actually the infectious disease clinic in, in, in Mass General. You lose your voice completely? <clears throat> no, there was something in my lungs, I couldn't figure it out. They wound up, I wound up going up and seeing this gentleman, Dr. Stevens Zytels, who said, how do you sleep at night? I said, on my back. He goes, well, it's probably dripping down and going into your lungs, and you have something wrong here. I said. This is my guy. How common is the condition he was suffering from? Well, I think it's not too uncommon to have those kinds of symptoms, especially if you're changing environments. But ultimately, what it led to is problems when he was on stage, which led to the vocal cord hemorrhage. And so you didn't just say to him, OK, start sleeping on your stomach. You said there is a way we can repair this. And it was with a pretty much of a, of, of new technology used. Well, then I went back on tour. Right. And uh, I went from California on a plane, long flight, to Florida. And uh, the next day we had a show, and I blew it out. Flat tire, so to speak. I couldn't sing, I couldn't speak. I went to see him. He said you had some broken blood vessels. All right, so how did you repair the blood vessels? So what basically happens when someone does this, and it's a very common thing to occur with singers, you have to wait till the blood goes away because we worked to develop a specialized laser that had initially been used for infant skin who have vascular malformations, and then we organized a, a group to analyze using our vocal cords so it was perfect for the blood vessels that had been breaking. So you, so you use this new technology to fix this problem, and then you guys de decide, you know, you can also learn a lot from what happens afterward. So they hook you up with all these, these diagnostic tools. What was that like? In, in other words, they, they put me out, and he zapped me with a green laser, right. which only sees red, which is red broken blood, blood, blood vessels. vessels. When guys pu get punched and they get hematomas in their skin, if it happens, enough times you get scarring under there if that happens in your larynx you can't sing anymore and, so and he, clearly for your profession that's a bad thing so he's zapping it with this red laser and you can literally see it Af on the show afterward as you start to look at his vocal cords in action mm -hmm. upon healing sure well first of all what was it like to have that scope so we could actually see that was that bizarre uh, very they, they numb your throat or they go down your nose but in order to sing, they went down my nose. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, well, what if I sang Dream On? Now, this, his clinic just happens to have a piano at the end of the hallway. Right. Ran down, hit an F minor, and I hit the Dream On, Dream On! And then I went to National Geographic and I said, would you guys mind doing, and one thing led to another, you know, we're doing a human body thing. And so while I was in the chair and he was scoping me, I sang that note and they fused it together and what were you surprised at, doctor, in terms of the wear and tear that his vocal cords take in the average performance? Sure. Uh, I mean, you get two different perspectives as a surgeon. One is in the office, and what will show in the National Geographic special is what his bleeding looked like because we digitally record everything. Right. And then you get the perspective of a surgical microscope, so you get to see decades of high-performance singing and the effect on these soft tissues. That's bizarre. That's his, is that, what exactly are we looking at right you there? You are looking at 
Stephen creating sound at unusual frequencies for, for these. He, his vocal fold tissues that are vibrating at that point are probably the size of an infant, but he's driving it with unbelievable lung pressure. And, and, and what we should say is we're, we're taking one aspect of this incredible human machine special, your vocal cords, but similar technology is used to look at the eyes, the heart, the lungs, the digestive system. So this is really a full body treatment here. And not that yours aren't the most important, but it, it certainly, it must, it's, I'm sure it's interesting for you to look at the whole picture. Well, they put me in a, in a vest. They took my... Yeah, we took pulse, respirations, and we actually, our scientists at the Mass General designed a device that we could monitor the voice without recording it. So what we had calculated is that his vocal cords in that one show collided actually 780,000 times, oh, gosh. which was the equivalent of traveling six miles. And, and real quickly, your voice okay now? I mean, you're, you're completely it's, healed? It's beautiful. Which is great, because we want to invite you and the guys to come for an outdoor concert <laughs> next year. I'll be right over. <laughs> <laughs> Good book. <laughs> All right. Doctor, thanks so much. Thank Stephen, good much. to see you again. Thanks a lot. And again, The Incredible <laughs> Human Machine premieres this Sunday night at 8 Eastern and Pacific on National Geographic Channel. And now here's Mary. <laughs>